A component is the building block used to create protocols. Each component performs a specific task, like reading, writing, executing a calculation or algorithm, or manipulating data. Selecting a component displays its help and parameter information. Note that those panes must be opened in your version of Pipeline Pilot for you to see them. The Help pane describes the function of a component, and the Parameters pane controls its behavior. Some components have required parameters. When that component is brought into the protocol building space, the component and its required parameters are displayed in red. You'll also notice the green Run Protocol button is grayed out because the protocol cannot be run at this time. Once the required parameters have been fulfilled, the component turns blue, the parameter turns black, and the Run Protocol button turns green. You can now run the protocol. The caption on a component can be edited to describe its specific function in a pipeline. Click once on the caption name to change it. Then you type in a descriptive name. Notice that each component has ports, the nodules on either side of the component. Data enters a component through the input port, and components can only have one input port. Data leaves the component through the output ports, the green pass port and red fail port. Ports can be toggled on and off by right-clicking on the component and choosing Toggle Ports. Here, you can turn ports on and off. Since this component is downstream of another component in a pipeline, it must have an input port, so it cannot be turned off. Choosing Fail will remove the Fail port from this component. Let's take a closer look at the Parameters pane. Parameters can be organized in groups, such as the Source, Delimiter, and Additional Options groups here. Parameter groups can be expanded and contracted by clicking on the plus or minus icons to the left of them. Parameters in a group behave no differently than ungrouped parameters. The parameter that is the group heading, such as source, may or may not accept a value, depending on the parameter type. As you saw, the source group heading for the delimited text reader accepts values. The additional options group heading for this component does not accept values. A group can be duplicated, removed, or reordered as a single unit. 